The easiest and most hassle-free way to get a PHP server running on your Mac is to use a package called MAMP. That's what I recommended you install back when we started our first PHP project. If you've installed MAMP, then you already have MySQL installed. If not, follow the link I've attached to this video to get PHP and MySQL installed using MAMP. MySQL starts up every time you start MAMP. Let's take a look. Open up the MAMP control panel on your local computer. Click Start Servers. If this prompts you for your credentials, enter them. The lights next to Apache server and MySQL server should both turn green. This should launch the MAMP start page in a browser. If it doesn't, you can click here to do so. This start page has all the information you'll need to connect to the database. The host name, the port number, the user, and the password. You won't need this information right now, but you'll need it soon when we use PHP to access the database. There's no need to write it down or anything, but this is where you'll find it when it's time. MAMP comes with a web-based control panel known as PHP My Admin for browsing the data in the database and for executing SQL queries. You can find a link to this on the MAMP start page up here. PHP My Admin is PHP code running on your local computer in a special MAMP folder. Many web hosts use this same software to let you interact with your database on their server, so it can be good to be familiar with it. We don't have any of our own databases to browse quite yet, but we'll get to that soon enough. When we do create a database, it will be listed down here in the list of databases. PHP is what I would call a MySQL client, a piece of software that provides an interface for interacting with a database. In future videos, when I ask you to open up your MySQL client, I intend for you to launch PHP My Admin from the MAMP start page to get to this screen here. If you can get to this page, then you have MySQL running in your local environment. If you have MySQL running in your environment, and you know what to do when I ask you to open your MySQL client, you can skip ahead to the next quiz.